Anthony, thank you for being here. Well, thank yeah. you. Glad to be here. Oh, great. So you've, you've been around for a while. You've been in different positions in government and also now mm -hmm. operating a, a very large company. Mm -hmm. What, where do you see us in this evolution in Hong Kong and the entrepreneurial journey? Like, where would you say we are today? Well, Hong Kong has always been very entrepreneurial. Yeah. But in the last decades, and actually two decades or so, a lot of attention has been paid to the conventional industries. Mm -hmm. Financial services, property development, obviously in the past manufacturing. But now I, I see a revival of attention on entrepreneurship, on innovation and creativity, which I think mm. is a great thing. It's partly driven by the need, because a lot of people feel that um, the options for youth seems to be narrowing. But I think it's also driven by technology, uh, because in the past, starting a business was a very difficult thing. Mm. But now with technology and also with the rise of venture capital, startup capital and all, uh, is much easier to start your own business. Mm. So I think this combination of factors would uh, hopefully get more people to attend to not working for somebody, mm. but really creating a business for yourselves. May be for money, may not be for money, but mainly for to really fulfill a, uh, to f to fulfill a dream. Yeah, and I have two questions about that. Sure. I, I think you're talking about culture and values, mm -hmm. and pursuing something for yourself. But I think there's also room for partners there. If mm -hmm. I'm a young person, or if, even if I'm from outside of Hong Kong, mm -hmm. and I want to build a business, what type of pa partners or mentors should I be looking for? How do I go about getting that help? Because you can't do this alone. I oh think. yeah, uh, it, it, it clearly is not just doing it alone. Yeah. But I think a lot, of the, a lot depends on, you, uh, on who you are, knowing your strengths and weaknesses, and getting somebody to cover your shortcoming. Um, so, so it's hard to say who you should uh, partner with. Like, I mean, if I'm going into a business myself, since I do not really have a technology background, mm. but if I have, I have a strong idea about how to improve certain, certain things, and I need a technology partner, I'll find somebody that is very strong in technology. Mm. Um, or if I want uh, to explore uh, or, uh, or, or expand into the China market, Mm. and I'm not from the mainland, then maybe I'll need somebody from the mainland. So it really is talking about kind of mixing and matching to complement uh, your own strengths and weaknesses. Sure. Are, are, do you think that there are changes to Hong Kong values that have happened that have enabled this sort of rush to entrepreneurship? I mean, I think maybe even seven or eight years ago, there was some talk about, let's be a startup capital, mm -hmm. let's do some stuff. But suddenly, it's, it's in the past two years, really, mm -hmm. that something just exploded. What, what do you think was the trigger for this? Well, I think, uh, as I said, both is a matter of uh, changes in technology that mm -hmm. makes it so much easier. And also that people are saying that, no, I mean, uh, the, the, the options for use seems to be narrowing. I mean, uh, people focus a lot on uh, if you graduate, you uh, should go into a, uh, an investment bank or private equity. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are saying that I, I don't really want that. Mm -hmm. and, and also, a lot of people are saying that no, I mean, uh, it's not just for the money. It's really to realize a dream. And uh, uh, plus the fact that there are successful uh, entrepreneurs, I mean, uh, obviously the uh, Pony Mars and Jack Mars that are like, mm -hmm. get people to really wake up and say, no, I mean, uh, to be in the property business or financial services aren't really, aren't really the only way to make money mm. or, and, and to become a billionaire. I got it. So I have one last question sure. for you, and it's, what is the single biggest piece of advice you'd want to give to young people today if they want to start on that journey? Well, you really have to have a passion. Mm. Uh, don't start a business just, you want to start a business. Don't start a business because you just want to make more money. Mm. But if you have a burning desire to improve something that can hopefully improve the world, then maybe you should go into your own business. Got it. Thank you, Mr. Dunn. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you.